Hey, Colby, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, we'll start you, Sarah. Hi. Hey, um, what was the conversation after you guys broke down the film about what you guys need to do better in your next game? Yeah, well, uh, we just got to protect better. You know, we got to we got to play as as five guys who play together, and um, we're just you know excited for the next week and uh, ready for another opportunity to attack. What are the challenges when you have some reshuffling due to injuries? Uh, I mean, it's just the way I like to look at it is next man up mentality. You know, uh, we all we're all here. We're all ready to play hard and go out and give it our all. So um, you know, we trust every guy who's in that room. And real quick, hold on, uh, KB7, if you could put yourself on mute, and anybody, if you're not talking, if you put yourself on mute, it helps out. Thank you. Stu? Coleman, what do you take from your experiences last season where you got called into, uh, you know, playing center kind of abruptly against the Jaguars, but then obviously uh, I think it was against the, the Cardinals where you actually um, got the start as far as just getting in sync with Matthew and, and being prepared and all those kinds of things? Yeah, um, it's just, you know, going out and last year it was kind of just taking advantage of the opportunity and now I got that experience and I'm able to go out and um, just have confidence in my play um, and just, you know, go out there and give it my all. And then what have you seen um, from Tremaine since he's going to be uh, sliding into that right guard spot? Yeah, Tremaine, I mean, Tremaine's been here a, a, a good amount and he's, you know, he works hard and he's he's ready to roll, so. Um, it's a, we're excited to be able to you know let let him go play and just have fun playing next to him. Thank you, Gilbert. Hey, uh, Coleman, have you spoken to Brian Allen? Is he doing okay? Yeah, Brian's doing good. Brian's doing good. Just saw him today, so um, we'll get him back soon. Okay, uh, and I think going off of what Stu was saying, is that you know a tough juggle to go from guard to center and and, and doing that in a week notice or ten days, I guess, in this, this situation. Uh, you know, it's it's part of the job. That's the way I like to look at it. It's, you know, if you play offensive line, you got to know all the positions and you got to know, um, got to be able to go in at any point. So it, it, to me, it's just another part of the job. And Coleman, I know I know it's only a one, one game, one uh, one week, but uh, was it pretty frustrating, you know, performance with the offensive line for, for that first game, you know, allowing seven sacks? So how did you guys feel, you know, in the locker room about that? Yeah, obviously we, we just got to improve and we got to we got to keep Matthew clean and um, you know that's the goal moving forward and we're going to give it everything we got. Thank you, Coleman. Jordan. Hey, Coleman. Um, just a little bit of a technical question as you guys go through the or had gone through the rest of your your film study. When a team is um, rushing four and they're just rushing four solely through the entire game, um, what sort of technical key points uh, stand out to you guys at that at that point? I guess I'm asking more like what the difference is in um, you, you guys' own uh, technique and, and planning versus when they're bringing, you know, design stuff and extra things that are maybe exotic. Right, well, um, you know, when they're bringing four, we got five to block. So there's always gonna be a slide side and, um, and a stick side. So everybody's, you know, there's still gonna be one-on-ones and everybody's still gonna have to hold their own. Um, so it's, it's a part of the offensive line play, um, adds a little wrinkle when they bring more than that, but you know, we gotta be on our P's and Q's. Did you guys have a, um, a moment in, in the locker room right after the game, after the huddles break and everything where you sort of, you sort of gathered yourselves and, and came together. Um, Rob mentioned that you guys took a minute to kind of talk, talk through that together as a group and stay together. Yeah, you know, um, Rob's uh, a great leader of our own line, and, and he does, he's obviously played in a lot, a lot of football and knows what he's talking about. So we just, you know, just got to improve, and we're, now we're focusing on the Falcons and um, doing the best job we can. And then um, this is a weird question, but I've been meaning to ask and just hadn't got the chance. Um, what's the difference in when you're working with a quarterback and he's used to a right-handed snapper, and then now you're obviously a lefty, like, is there is there a difference at all? I've been curious about that since basically you started <laughs> snapping to Matthew. Uh, I like to say no, um, but you probably have to ask Matthew about that. Um, <laughs> I mean, we both just turn the ball parallel and hopefully they land in the same spot. So <laughs> thanks, Coleman. Yeah. Gary. When you're shifting from guard to center and 
but also now commanding a line or calling signals for a line that has a new guy on your right, you know, with Tremaine. Is there added responsibility for you to kind of make sure he's doing what he's supposed to do as well? Uh, not, no, not necessarily. You know, I, I trust, we all trust Tree to know what he's going to do. And he's, he's proven that um, in practices and in the preseason. And, you know, at center, you can't, you can't try to, you know, do somebody else's job. You got to do what you got to do and trust all the men around you. And that's what um, I love about our team. Thank you. Anything else? Colby, we appreciate you, brother. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one.